In this video, I will be showing you how to read a journal article. For starters, we'll answer the question of why read a lab journal's article before joining. There are kind of three main points to this. The first one is show that the lab you're genuinely interested in their research. The second point is that it makes a good first impression. And lastly, you can reference the research in your solicitation email. Each lab journal typically follows the same outline, but it always starts with an abstract. So this is a place where there's a general overview of the research that was done and what was found. Um, I will be using this article as an example, um, but this was written by Jennifer Jay, who is a civil engineering professor at UCLA. As you can see, her article begins with an abstract, which is basically a long paragraph giving an overview of what was done. The next part of the article is the introduction. Um, so this is kind of the place where a broad idea and a broad amount of information is honed down to a single focal point. Um, and this kind of gives you a sense of what was the purpose of the research and why did they do it? So looking back at this article, you'll see under abstract is introduction. The next part of an article is the materials and methods. So this tells the reader what experiments were done. Um, and typically there's more technical language being used because it allows other scientists and researchers to replicate the experiment if they want to. Um, even though there's technical language, you'll gain a better understanding of the design of the experiments and you can also evaluate their validity. Looking at this article, you can see on the left, there's the outline. And so right under intro, there is methods um, or field site and methods. So kind of explaining how this was done, for example, sample collection, sediment collection. And the next part of the article is results and discussion. So in results, it's a statement of what was found um, in reference to the data shown in the visuals. And then in discussion, this is placing the findings in a broader context um, and it's just giving purpose to the results. So you can see under field site methods, there's results, and typically there are more diagrams in this section showing the data that was collected, um, and then discussion. After that, there is conclusion, kind of summarizing everything, um, and then there's always acknowledgments and references. So some tips when reading a journal article is number one, read critically. Don't always assume that the authors are correct. Instead, be a little bit suspicious. Um, going off that, read creatively. Um, so kind of connect it to other fields and think about how it falls in a broader context. Um, another tip was be to summarize the paper in one or two sentences, see if you're able to do that um, and see if you've gained a good understanding of the article. And lastly, just ask yourself questions as you're reading. Um, so what problem is this research addressing? Why is it important? And things like that. Please come to peer advising. If you have any questions about any of this, you can scan the QR code here to make an appointment. Um, there's also drop-in sessions. If you go to OASA UCLA and press on the first link, 